Good morning. How did everybody sleep last night? I slept okay. Woke up to a five-year-old in bed with me this morning, snuggling, which she does almost every morning. I can't even tell she's in the bed with me most of the time when I wake up. But, how's your guys' morning? Mine's quiet for the most. Woo! It's thundering out. It is pouring down the rain and thunder and lightning. See, we were supposed to take scrap off today. We got so much scrap up in the turnaround spot. They were supposed to took some, cleaned it out today. I don't think that's going to happen, though. But he's gone off to the dump this morning and uh, to take the trash off. And then he was supposed to come home. He's going to get us some biscuits. Some biscuits from the gas station. Isn't that ironic? But they have the best biscuits down here. So, yeah, he ran to go to dump and get biscuits. Well, I don't have much to do today. <clears throat> I do have to go out. I hope it doesn't continue to rain like this all day. But I have to go out today. I have got to go to get... Uh, grocery store. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I just do not want to go. Listen to that thunder. Look at my hair. Yeah. I got dressed. Got dressed. T-shirt. T-shirt. Look at that. Go ahead. I gotta get back on my keto diet as soon as I get my tea so I can eat, like, salads. I can't eat salads right now because that's all I would eat was just salads. Now I'm eating everything. Lots of processed food. I can't help it. It's, it's delicious. I'm drinking my coffee. my second one for the day. I drink about two of them in the morning and then I have two at night before I go to bed. <laughs> Caffeine, the coffee does not affect me like it does most people. I mean, if I didn't drink it, I'd probably, you know, have some type of effect. But as far as drinking it, people say, oh, I can't drink coffee after a certain time. Because, what is that like? Now let's talk. Let's try this overhead. See if the light is good. I wonder how it is if I sit down. It's not too bad. It's better than that blinding light right in front of me. You can see my wrinkles. And my mustache. I need to go get my eyebrows done. That's what I miss my daughter not being home. Because either she would do them. Or we'd go someplace together and have them done. She'd be like, come on mom, let's go get, some, let's go get our eyebrows done. So, I miss her not being home. Yes, I do. So, the story on Miha, Melissa, is that she's incarcerated. Until October, I think. I think she has until October. Which, she has a bad drug problem. And she's had a drug, bad drug problem for probably the last, I don't know, she, when it started taking hold of her, I think she was 19, 20. I mean, she was a kid. I think, I know she experimented with drugs. I know. I know they smoked pot, which 
I mean, to me, pot is no big deal. I smoke pot, too. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie about it. Pot's pot. But, I, you know, um, she got with some of the, her friends. You know how people are. Influence you to do drugs. And then you get, oh, let's try this. And then try it and you get hooked. Well, that was Melissa. So, from the time she was probably about, I'd say 20. She had Sid, or Sarah when she was 18. So, she got hooked up with this one guy. Got her hooked on fentanyl when she was 19, 20. And that was her first time she went to rehab was then. And she's probably been to rehab, I don't know, six times, six, seven times. And anyways, she got caught up with doing something she wasn't supposed to do illegal. And she went to jail the first time. And I think she was in jail six months, maybe. Got out. And as soon as they got out, as soon as she got out, um, they had charges on her from the, that's how dirty they are down here. They should have char they should have charged her when she was in jail or whatever and Instead of wait till she got out, because they did it right after she got out, um, with charges from during the time that she was selling drugs. Nothing that she had done, you know, right then and there. This is previous, but she had gotten out of jail and got her shit together, and had finally moved in with her boyfriend and her and the girls had moved in with her because they they were living here. Like I said before in previous, um, previous law, um, vlog, that I had custody of CK, and that was during time, but, you know, she got out of jail, she was doing real good, and not doing drugs, and she finally had the girls home with her, and she was living the family life, and doing real good, <clears throat> you know, then she got hit with... God, plus that I just broke my hair bow. Those are cheap old hair bows. But they they charged her with a previous crime. And so she had to go back to court. And she got sentenced for a year. And her lawyer was so pissed off because she had been her lawyer previously. That they brought up these charges. But the, they're so dirty down here. They wanted her, the narc form is what it was. My kids aren't no narcs. My kids are going to do their time, and they have. Because that's not her first time in jail. Because, like I said, she had a previous charge on, charge on her that she had served. But, no, my kids aren't angels. They, they're all adults. They do their own thing. I can't tell them what to do. But, um, so she had moved out. And got her family stuff together. She was doing really well. And um, she went back to jail. She's been in jail since last October. And she got a year. And she's at a women's facility in... I can't even think of the name of it. It's in Richmond. Chesterfield. She's in Chesterfield Women's Correctional Center. And they are like... Um, they have um, programs up there for when you are in there that you have to get jobs on the outside. So, so I, I don't know the name of the program, but, um, yeah, she has a regular outside job. She goes to jail. She lives in, the, it lives at the jail and they Shuttle them back and forth to regular jobs. She works at a factory making um, awning or not awning. Um, you know, like if you have um, roses and you put the uh, wood trellises. Trellises is what it is. They put trellises together. So it's a regular factory, regular people. And she works there. She sends me uh, two hundred dollars a month to help with her girls. You know, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. 
I buy in something and, you know, buy groceries out of it. Because I don't eat the same foods as Steve and I. They eat a lot of junk food. And, like, processed food. They like quick and easy meals. And Steve and I are used to meat and potatoes. But... That's where she's at. So if you were wondering why I have my grandkids, that's the reason why. And you know, all these years of Sarah Kate's life, she's always lived at home. I mean, Melissa would live at home and during her drug problem and stuff, she would take off. And one year I didn't, one time I didn't let her see her a whole year because she was on drugs so bad. Well, it's been a couple times she was on drugs really bad that I wouldn't let her around the kids. Or she'd bring him down here and she'd take off without telling me where she's going. And she'd be gone for weeks and I'd have to hunt her down. And she'd be blown out of her mind. That's how bad the drugs are down here. I need to, does it look like I need to do my roots again? Or is that just the light? So, sad story on Melissa. It's more sad for the girls. Having a parent. She, they don't have just one parent. They have two parents that are drug addicts. Because their dad is just as bad. And he's in jail too. Because remember when I said in a previous vlog that they went and lived with their dad's supposedly went and lived with their dad, but their grandparents ended up taking care of them. Yeah. Jamie was, that's their dad, was out doing his own guy, uh, own damn thing, doing drugs and shit, and getting in trouble and stuff. That he's been incarcerated for over a year now, and just now started a program where he'll be out of jail in a year. And then my kitchen is a mess. I got dinner dishes to do. <coughs> I just don't know what it is. I just can't do dinner dishes at night. Put them all in there. Put some soap in there. Soap them bad boys while I'm gone. Gonna soak them, soak them dishes, soak them dishes. I'm gonna soak them, soak them, soak them, soak them dishes, soak them dishes. That's a oh person's mm mm dance. Mm -hmm. Got to put them lips there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Got to feel it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Feel it. Got to feel it. Got to feel it. Got to feel it. Feel the groove. Groove. Got to move. Move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That's that. Enough of that. Enough of that. Who's seen Dymo's new video? Huh? Her new uh, video of the song she just did. Is it... What is the name of it? I might have to go look now because I can't, be I can't remember. But I listened to it last night. I thought it was really good. She's she is really 
I've been watching her since she was with Chrissy. And I'm glad she's over that girl. I can't even watch the other one. I've tried watching her, but I can't watch her. So I just watched Dino. And what do you think about Olivia? After she talks so much shit about Carol. Oh my goodness. Well, all I can say is karma's a bitch. Because what goes around comes around. Shouldn't have been talking smack. And I know it's not Jared leaving you, or Gerard, Gerard, leaving you. It's you leaving him. But, you know, you know, seeing it coming, it was time. And she'd have put that thing on there, we got married. They never got married. They got their marriage license, but they never got married. Never. But, yep, I still watch Olivia. Because she's like freaking soap poppers watching her. You gotta tune in to the days of tomorrow or days that turn, whatever the hell the damn soaps were called. One day, one day to live or one life to live. One life to live starring Olivia. She's so full of drama. She usually beats up on everybody else. Now she's beating up on pe poor uh, Gerard. It's Gerard's her enemy this week. I just can't wait to see what kind of shit she pulls on him. And if he didn't want her to leave Texas, I mean, even though they're not married, them kids are still his. He has a right to say... No, I don't want you to take my kids out. And then she has to take them to court. Because unless she has custody of them, I mean, she still needs to do that. What you going to do, not let him see, see the kids? They can't fly back and forth by themselves. So either he's going to have to go down there or she's going to have to take them back to Texas all the time. And what the hell is she going to do with all of her stuff? How is she going to get to Florida with all her stuff? I know she's not going to be wanting to leave. I mean, I can see her leaving all the furniture and household items and stuff like that. And just starting over. But. Let me get this. That was Stevie calling me. Telling me he's going to go to Tudor's. Tudor's Biscuits. Instead of getting biscuits at the gas station. Because. They're still cooking. But he interrupted me, so I forgot what we were talking about. I know it was about Olivia and Gerard, but I can't remember where I was. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go for now. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. Yeah, we're leaving. We're going to, oh shit, I forgot these pants. Hold on, I gotta walk all the way back down to the damn house. Shit. Don't, sorry, don't mean to cuss. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I had a pair of jeans. Of Sarah's that I wanted to take back today. And I left them out at the house. That sucks. Well, Stevie's got a friend coming over, so he's staying home. And so I'm gonna run to Walmart. I got a few places to stop.
this driveway is just so bad. And you wonder why we feel like it needs this car. We have a Lexus. It feels like it needs a uh, not shot. I can't think. What is the other thing? Not shocks. Let's do a big UE right here. You know, my, in the middle of the road. Oh. Oh, crap. I can't think of what it's called. But it's like a shock. Jeez, Kim, you gotta make a four point turn. What the hell, girl? Two, four turns to get turned around and top my driveway. Right on the top of the road. This is the top of the road. My house is down there below. This is what we call the back side of the mountain. Here's another one of our roads. That's our that's our four wheeler road. We four wheel up there. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. One of our four four wheelers is broken right now, but we got a new piece for it the other day. So. Hopefully here is something that gets it fixed so we can ride our own four-wheelers instead of having me having to ride with him. I can ride my own four-wheeler. Four-wheeler. Yeah, we have fun. We're old. Yep, I have allergies, so don't mind my sniffing. Plus, it's like, I have like a tick. That'd be it, probably. And going... I have that take it drive there cake crazy when I do that. My grandmother did that. She sighed head really. I do the same thing. Probably my mother too. Woo! Lost ya. Well, I'm going to come back to you guys after I get, hopefully, to Walmart. If they're not too packed. Or I might bring you out while I'm in there. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I'm losing you. Oh my god, I'm losing you. Jam right here, buddy. Over here at Walmart. Call me anytime, you got to call me. 
now the game has begun. Look for a place to park. Walmart. I got a list from Big Daddy that I don't want to forget. I bet you I mean green pen. Yep. Sounds like fun. I have to do a return in here and I got to do some shopping. So, I'm going to put you away for now and bring you back in a few. Bring you back in a few. Try to put my keys in my pocket. Did I break my nail? Alrighty, people. Let's get this done and over with. Can I get some old Roy? I don't know what happened to my phone while I was in Walmart. Like it just died. That was a weird angle, but that's the angle you got. Fixing to leave Walmart to go home. Phew. 
Hot Walmart wore me out. You know, they got them self-checkouts now. They expect everybody to self-check out themselves. So they don't put any cashiers on duty. There's like maybe two cashiers working. And that was it. So I had to do self-check out if I wanted to get the hell out of there. I'm surprised I spent less on groceries than I expected. So hopefully I got enough for at least a week. I think I did. The girls got water and Kool-Aid.